everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in for this haul. Um, I know everybody likes hauls. I feel like I just did a haul, but it was for TJ Maxx, not makeup, so that totally doesn't count. <laughs> First off, I got the Lorac Pro palette. I got this at Ulta, and it's just a gorgeous palette of half matte, half shimmer shades, all neutrals, but, I mean, some sort of colorful shades in there in the mix, and uh, I actually used it for this tutorial, all matte. It's a great palette. I'm gonna probably do more on this, either in a blog review or a video review. I like the color selection. There is some fallout with the shades, but if you tap off your brush, tap off the excess product, um, you will be in pretty good shape for the eye look, which turns out to be very pigmented, very blendable, and just fun to use. So, and that also comes with a little primer primer as well, a behind the scenes eye primer from Laurent. A couple new things from Bare Minerals. I was looking for sort of a finishing touch type powder um, before I went on my trip and I didn't want to travel with any loose powder really. I just thought uh, that could be a real mess. I don't want something to break. It goes all over. So um, I got this Bare Minerals uh, touch-up veil. So it's like their mineral veil only pressed and it's in the tinted version. So it gives you, instead of just, you know, white powder, it gives you a little bit of coverage. But it looks like this. Oops! Comes with a little sponge and um, this is the product here. So as you can see, it's not totally white. It's kind of like a beige color and it just makes a nice little touch-up product. They also have this, of course, in the non-tinted version if you're interested in that. But I'm liking it so far. It was handy for the trip and um, I'm using it now just kind of as a purse powder, so I dig that for sure. I also got this Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. Um, I actually got this in the lightest shade because I noticed it had a pinky tone, this one, this one called Luminous One, and I think that that is really good for just brightening the under eye area. In terms of being a concealer, I mean, this does not have a lot of coverage to it, but it does really brighten nicely. And I find that I'm using it on other parts of the face, like maybe down the nose, or because it is so light, like I wanted it to practically function like a cream highlight for me without having shimmer. So that's kind of the interesting thing with this. It does not have shimmer or sparkle, but it does just by the nature of its tone, Brighten. So I do enjoy that, but just keep in mind it's not really going to be something for um, heavy duty, high coverage concealer. I have a couple of new Revlon lipsticks. Um, I was just looking for some nice shades for fall, something a little bit brighter or deeper or just something more colorful because I like really you know, amping up the lips. And so this is Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss Lipstick in Cherries in the Snow. So many of you told me after my favorite Revlon lip products video that I needed to get this and it is just an iconic color in the collection. I'm surprised I didn't have it. But as you can see it's actually got a lot of pink to it. I thought it was going to be more of like a pure red but and it looks kind of red here in the tube but it definitely has some sort of a, a pink tone to it as well. So kind of like a reddish berry color. I haven't worn it on my lips yet but I like what I'm seeing there in the swatch. And then I got this shade in Black Cherry another super lustrous lipstick, and you're probably thinking, whoa, what's going on there? I was wearing this in an Instagram picture that I posted. It's really just a nice deep berry color, as you can see. I mean, in any of these, you can shear them out a little bit with your finger and apply them and make them look a little more sheer, but, you know, it's got a range of, you know, ways this kind of a dark color can look, but I think it's very pretty. I got this lipstick from L'Oreal, and it's called Spiced Cider, and from the looks of it, I thought, that's a pretty shade, kind of a brick red. Um, I'm not in love with it on the lips, to be honest. I feel like it comes off a little more brown than I expected. I wanted more red and less brown, and it's kind of like a brownie tone. So if you want that, if you want like a, a brownish brick red, that's kind of what this is. I just expected a little more red in there. All right, there's a new Maybelline mascara, as it seems like they come out non-stop with a new mascara, and it's the Colossal Volume Express cat eyes version. So it's got the little animal print there, and I, of course, had to see, you know, is this amazing? And right now I'm thinking not. Um, it's a curved brush mascara, really short bristles, and one thing that I find is when I pull it out of the tube, um, it really seems to pull a lot of the product off. A couple things I wasn't super impressed with was the fact that it wasn't very lengthening, and it didn't thicken very much either. Even after a couple of coats, I wasn't thrilled, but I've only had this for like a week, so I need to use it some more to be able to tell you for sure. 
Uh, so look for like maybe an updated blog review or a Facebook or a Twitter post about this, but um, right now I'm kind of on the fence about L'Oreal it. L'Oreal has come out with their limited edition Project Runway stuff, and um, it includes like eyeshadow quads and also um, what else was there? Lip glosses, lipsticks, blushes, too. And there was really only one eyeshadow quad that kind of appealed to me as being something different, and it's called the Muse's Gaze. They look like this, by the way. And this one has kind of some fun colors. It's got a gold, a, a teal blue, a coral, and a uh, really dark greenish blue. I haven't used this yet, but the swatches are not impressing me. Here's what they look like. Look how sheer. Look how there's the blue, if you can see it, the gold, the peach. That shade's kind of pretty, but goodness, I mean. Another new um, collection in drugstores is the Wet n Wild Fergie stuff. Um, I Instagrammed a picture that I just took in the store of the full display, but there are three of these, and they're little box sets of a full eye look. And so there's one that I got that has sort of the black and the gold and silver. Another one had just straight up neutral smoky dark colors like um, black and dark taupe and stuff that I already had a lot of. And then the other one has, I think it was silver and white and then maybe like a blue and a purple, so the brighter one. And you open it up, and what you have is first off on this side a guide of how to get the look, and then you've got um, in the box here, if I can see, uh, all the products involved. So it's the eyeshadow quad, a mini mega length mascara, a mini mega eyes eyeliner, which I do like the liquid liner, a pencil liner in a color, a brush, and a brow comb. So, real quickly, I know I like Mega Liner. This one that comes in this kit has some glittery flecks in it, which is kind of cool. Um, the Mega Length Mascara doesn't blow my socks off. I don't love it. Um, the pencil, these pencils can be good. Um, they're not exactly the most long-wearing things in the world, but they can go on kind of smooth and be pretty colors. I, I'm having trouble popping this one out, but it is like a golden bronze. This eyeshadow brush is a Duds McGee right here. Let me show you. It is just a blunt cut brush, kind of soft, but not a lot of bristles packed in there. I don't think it's going to be real good. Um, but this little... Some of this stuff just doesn't want to pop out for me, but this brow brush, I mean, you can definitely use that. Those are real handy to have, you know, in a purse or um, in with your brushes. It's got a little comb for your lashes and a little brush for your brows. Now the shadows, ugh, I wish they were better. I wish I could say these fall in line with all the other Wet n Wild products we know and love, but they're just, the lighter shades seem kind of chalky to me, and the only one that has really nice quality is the black. So, I swatched these in the most awkward place on my hand, but here's what you get. Um, the silver's not too bad. The yellow, the thing is, in the pictures, they show the yellow really, like, popping in this look, and it's really just, I kind of wish they gave a more metallic gold, but it's kind of like just a is so so yellow and then the white is you know okay but the black is really nice and you can see the glitter in it too just by the swatches that's my assessment of this so mm, I don't know I don't know how the other palettes are I only have this one but um, I'm kind of so so on that finally as I get my hands cleaned off here I mentioned that I had run out of my Mali perfect prep primer. I got it, but I kind of got it in a set of three other things, so now I have this big size of my Perfect Prep primer, which is great, which is like, in case you didn't see that video, I described it as being just a really luxurious primer. It, it's kind of like whipped cream is what it looks it like. It feels so like silky smooth. Um, it just blends right into the skin. It feels really lightweight, yet you totally feel like you have a nice barrier. They're kind of locking in your moisturizer and helping your foundation go on more smoothly. So loving that primer and glad I've got that back. But what came in this, sit, in this kit were a couple of other things, and they are a perfect prep primer for eyes. And think of this more as a skincare step than an actual than a literal eye primer like Urban Decay or Too Faced. This is something, and they give you a little brush to apply it with. It's like the texture of the face primer, only maybe even a little bit richer. But you just put it on with the brush. I go under my eye. I go 
over my eye on the lid wherever and it just makes everything so feel so nice and so smoothed out. I just feel like, you know, the better you can make your canvas for your makeup, you know, the better everything will look. And then there's this Perfect Prep Eye Gel, which was what I really, really wanted to try. And it comes with this cool little guy here and it's so cooling. And I think this is like a stainless steel little applicator here. You basically dip it into this gel, which is apparently loaded with anti-aging ingredients and peptides and whatnot. And you just run this around your eye area. And I tell you, the de-puffing that this does, I mean, I need that in the early morning hours when I'm getting ready. So basically now the order I'm going, how I've integrated this stuff into my skincare or my pre-makeup routine is using this eye gel and kind of go around my eye area, it de-puffs, it kind of soothes the area, feels really nice. Then I moisturize all over, then using my Olay Complete for combo to oily skin. Then I do this step, this Perfect Prep Eye Primer, it's kind of locking in the moisture. Then I do my primer all over my face and then I'm on to foundation. So works really well. I'm liking it so, so far. So I think that wraps up this haul, kind of a wide variety of things from a big span of time here. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're all having a great day. Bye.